launched a dedicated task force which will be reviewing social media video of the demonstration last night. They say anyone caught taking part in racial vilification or incitement of hatred or violence will be charged. I would call on the police and the Attorney General to prosecute to the full extent of the law. Annie Puller, 7 News. Queensland police are also on standby as Palestinian groups prepare to protest here in Brisbane. They vowed to be peaceful, but with the conflict raging in the Middle East, the Jewish community says it's an offensive act. In a tense time, a provocative statement flies in Brisbane. Justice for Palestine hanging the Palestinian flag on the Goodwill Bridge. To show solidarity from Brisbane for the people of Palestine that are suffering under occupation. On both sides of the border, terror is being felt. Stretching all the way back to Brisbane, Samir el family lives in Gaza, now under bombardment. My brother and sister lives in Palestine and I haven't heard from them for the last 24 hours. I'm speaking with you now and I don't know if my family are dead or not. The Palestinian community here hoping Australia understands Hamas doesn't speak for their entire nation. Palestinians, we are normal people like you. We have families, we have kids, we have future, and we want to live normal life in our land. But the situation there is far from normal for millions, and among them, Queenslanders are trying to survive. Adi Shabte owned a cafe in Paddington. He's now caught in a conflict raging in his Israeli homeland. For millions of civilians here in Israel, for millions of people in Gaza that probably didn't even want that to happen, and it was forced upon us. Um, this, is, this is the toll that we will all pay for in the future. In the present, people there are preparing for war. Everything is available, but people are in a hurry to get as much food as they can. Here in Australia, the conflict is also causing tension. A number of pro-Palestinian rallies are planned for Brisbane, the first happening here at King George Square on Friday night. And after the scenes in Sydney, a large police presence is expected. It's not a time for celebration. It's not a time for what we've seen in Sydney for chanting and, and singing and dancing at the fact that Jewish people have been murdered. It's not the time for that. As lives on both sides continue to be lost. Joel Dry, 7 News.